everyone, it's Tessa from Meyer Hatchery, and today we're going to take an in-depth look at quail eggs. All right, I've got a big bowl of quail eggs here, but let's talk about quail on the flock before we get started. So quail do require different things than chickens. They require a different type of feed, even a different type of environment. Um, so if you have quail on your homestead, you may keep them on ground, you may keep them in pens, or maybe you're thinking about adding them to your flock. So quail are a great way to get eggs almost every single day without the kind of fuss of a chicken. Quail roosters don't make a lot of noise. The females are almost completely silent other than some riveting that I hear every so uh, now and then. But the quail take up less space. Their stool isn't as smelly. Um, and I, I really love them. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you some of these eggs that I received from my quail. Mine are all Caternix quail. Now you may have heard of Celadon quail as well. Celadon is a recessive gene that a quail can have and all it does is change the color of their egg. So kind of like the difference between a leghorn and a leg bar, you've got one where the interior of the shell is white and you've got one where the interior of the shell is blue. Celadon makes the interior of the shell blue, sometimes making the outer parts of the egg blue as well. But with regular Caternix, most of the time, they don't have both of those Celadon genes. Um, and for this instance, none of them do, but we'll check a few just to be sure. So the first thing that you'll notice about a quail egg is that it's a little bit smaller than a chicken egg, and it's a little bit smaller than even your bantam eggs. So holding this up to my thumb here, if you look at it, it's about half the size of my thumb. Now these eggs, uh, can be eaten just like chicken eggs. So four of these is about roughly the same as doing one large chicken egg. So if you look here, I've got um, different birds laying different types of eggs. So if you look at this one, we've got somebody over here whose paint was working overtime and somebody who was just kind of spreading out the paint. So Caternix quail eggs are going to be a tan color as the base and then they'll have these coffee colored stains on them. That staining can go from all over. This is not a brown egg, this is just the bloom on the outside, or to something more like this, which is more traditional. Now, sometimes, every so often, you'll get a quail that will lay an egg that looks a little cloudy almost on the outside, and it's like there was another layer of bloom. Uh, and that's what this little egg is right here. And sometimes if they have uh, some of those recessive celadon traits, you can actually call these like mint chocolate chip eggs. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna open it up and show you what they look like inside just so you can see. So uh, you can use scissors to open quail eggs because they do fracture easily. Uh, but because I'm not eating this one, I'm just gonna crack it just like I would a chicken egg and kind of destroy it here. But... Okay, so. I'm gonna crack this one because this one does have um, a little bit of a blue tint to it. So let's crack one of these ones that clearly is not like this one. It kind of just looks like the outside of a cow. Oh, beautiful cow. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So looking at the interior of these eggs, they are white. In one, I can see a little bit of the blue. So let me get you an image of that and we can look at it together. Um, inside this one, you can tell the difference. Uh, they are creamy white with maybe just a little bit of blue. Um, in one of them, it looks like maybe they had one, one of the Celadon genes, but in general, Caternix don't. So that's what the inside of the egg looks like. Now you can use these just as you would chicken eggs. They actually pack a lot of punch for something so small. They have a great deal of nutrition and a little handy size, and they're perfect for snacking because quail lay almost every single day. Almost all of these breeds are gonna give you over 300 eggs a year. So that means they're only taking off a couple of weeks. Um, and if you have a big enough flock, that's gonna lay more than your, your chickens. They do have a little bit of a shorter life, but while they're here with us, they do really pay their rent. So if you have any questions about your quail or you're thinking about getting some, be sure to check us out at MeyerHatchery.com. If you like and subscribe, you'll see all of our amazing videos about quail, chickens, and other poultry. And we want to hear from you. So if you have any questions, reach out to us at info at MeyerHatchery.com. Have a great day and happy quailing.